going on I don't know what people's frame of reference is but there's more than a few people that are saying Geisley rifles are overgassed what bro what are you talking about man bro, I'm out man I don't know what metric they're using for measurement of an overgassed rifle I don't know if they mean because they can't run it suppressed without getting gas to the face or what but <laughs> i've had nothing but proper ejection smooth operation and a remarkably pleasant recoil impulse in fact these and knight's armament are what i use to judge how well gassed something is and yeah you can troubleshoot an individual rifle but it just really speaks to either somebody that's just not knowledgeable I or they have an agenda or what I, I don't know what the deal is but I'm gonna be real with you these are some of the smoothest and most properly gassed rifles I have ever shot period hands down I've shot my 11 and a half and needed the h3 buffer like they send it from the factory once I upgraded it perfectly smooth even with the h2 it was fine 14.5 this is a bought not built completely fine perfectly gassed perfectly smooth perfectly buffered perfectly ejecting and shooting it is so effortless i just point and click it's beautiful and even with the urgi once i switched the buffer to the h2 it's perfect And it's a Daniel barrel with Daniel gas port. So it's not even the slightly smaller gas ports that Geisley's using to control the gas more. So again, I don't know who's 
teaching these people or what they're using. I don't know if they're putting like a carbine buffer and a carbine spring and all these other, I hear people saying that they put, oh, I put this in there and it's supposed to make it smoother and it didn't, these are terrible. Super overgassed, no they're not. I, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Fucking embarrassing. Cause I've fired three 16 inch samples. I've fired two 14 and a half inch samples. I've fired five or six URGIs and I fired this 11 and a half and this is 2000 rounds at this point. I just got this and my URGI has got about four, 4,500, 5,000 rounds through it so far. So, and then the other URGIs I've fired. So I don't know where these people are getting this and the URGI is probably the only one that you could possibly make an argument for when you're running it suppressed with the H1. But when you put the H2 in there with the Super 42, it shoots like a pussycat. I don't, <laughs> I, don't uh, I don't know where these people are getting this information from. I don't know what they're, not everybody has the same experience. I get it, sure, fine. And everybody wants to be the first to declare something or be the one that's like, actually, it's not that good. These are super smooth shooting rifles. Super smooth shooting rifles. I'm genuinely at a loss for how people come to this conclusion. Maybe you guys need to work out more, maybe because there's a perceptible recoil impulse at all, people are upset, or they shoot things with muzzle brakes a lot. I don't know, but pull the rifle into your shoulder and start pressing shots. It's gonna stay flat. It's really not that hard. I, I don't, <laughs> like it's, it's funny to me. It's legitimately hilarious to watch these people say these things. And then there's other people who haven't fired them and don't have access to them, unfortunately, they're gonna buy off on those people saying these things. I've handed these rifles out to probably about 20 different people, men, women, they've all shot them. Nobody's ever said to me, wow, that shoots harsh. I've always gotten compliments about how smooth these things shoot. There's definitely things to complain about for Geisley, and I'm doing Geisley as a brand here soon, but uh, overgassing is definitely not one of them. The black oxide finish on my 14 and a half inch barrel is definitely something to bring up and be concerned about, but I have the standard nitride finish or whatever the old finish was on this one. So, you know, whatever, but overgassing? No, man, no. Not by any stretch of the imagination. So, <laughs> whatever, I guess I just have experience on it, so I'm kind of trying to understand where people are coming from with this stuff, but oh boy. So enough of me talking, let's have a nice outro to that Barnacle Boy song that Forward Observations turned me on to. I was actually going to use it for this review video, which I probably still will, it's a pretty baller track. But let's see some more shooting of how smooth these things are, just to bring that point home. Thanks for watching, take care out there.